हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नो द फंक्शन ऑफ द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इज डिराइव डिजाइन टू कैरी आउट सेवल फंक्शन फर्स्ट इज टू प्रोड्यूस द एग सेल नेसेसरी फॉर द रिप्रोडक्शन कॉल्ड द ओवा और ऊसाइट the second function is to transport the ova to the site of fertilization the fertilization of the egg by the sperm normally occurs in the fallopian tube the fertilized egg is to implant into the wall of the uterus beginning the initial stage of pregnancy if fertilization or implantation does not take place the system is designed to menstruate this is this is the monthly shedding of the uterine lining and the last the female reproductive system produce female sex hormones that maintain the reproductive cycle is the female reproductive anatomy the function of the external female reproductive structures this genital genital is twofold the to enable sperm to enter the body and to protect the internal genital organs from the infection infectious organisms the main external structures of the female reproductive systems are labia majora labia minora batholin glands and clitoris these are present here first of all this is the this is the labia majora this is the labia minora this is clitoris and this is the vagina part and at, at the end of this the batholin glands are present the labia majora the labia majora enclose the and protect the other external reproductive organ it is the outer part of the female reproductive part it is it is also called as the large lip the labia majora are relatively large and fleshy and are comparable to the scrotum in the males the labia majora contains sweat and oil secreting glands the function of this is the sweat and oil secreting glands are present after puberty the labia majora are covered with the hair the labia minora is the internal part of this labia majora literally means the small lips the labia majora can be can be very small or up to 2 inches wide they lie just inside the labia majora and surrounded the opening of the vagina the canal that joined the lower part of the uterus to the outside of the body the urethra the tube that contain urine from the bladder to the outside of the body urethra this uh, the next is batholin gland the function of this uh, batholin gland to produce fluid or mucus secretion it or the location of this is the beside the vaginal opening clitoris is the labio Uh, the two labia majora meet at the clitoris a small sensitive protrusions that are comparable to the penis of the male the clitoris is covered by the fold of skin called the prepuce which is similar to the foreskin at the end of the penis like the penis the clitoris is very sensitive to stimulate and can be become erected next is these uh, are the internal female reproductive organs which are vagina uterus ovary and fallopian tube the internal reproductive system the vagina is the this part is the vaginal part uh, uh, this part is the vaginal part the vagina is a canal that join the cervix the lower of the uterus to the outside of the body it is also known as the known as the birth canal the vagina is also called as the birth canal the uterus or womb the uterus is a hollow this is the uterus part this is the uterus part the uterus is a hollow pear shaped organ that is the home of the developing fetus and uterus is divided into two part the cervix first and the corpus the cervix which is the lower part of the o -O part that open into the vagina this is the cervix part this is the cervix part and corpus is this part the corpus can easily expand to hold a developing body 
baby a channel through the cervix allows sperm to enter the menstrual blood to exit ovary ovary is the main reproductive organ of the uh, female the ovary are the small oval shaped gland it these are the ovary two ovaries are present here these are the two ovaries the ovaries are the small oval shaped glands that are located on either side of the uterus the ovary produce egg and hormone both the, the egg and hormone the fallopian tube these are the narrow these are the two fallopian tubes here and this present uh, here these are the two fallopian tube these are the narrow tubes that are attached to the upper part of the uterus and serve as the tunnel of the ova to travel from the ovary to the uterus this this ovary the egg production is here then they travel from here to here and implant implant implantation of fetus is in the uterus the uh, the fertilization of the egg by the sperm normally occur in the fallopian tube the fertilization of the uh, fertilization of the egg is here the fertilized egg then move to the uterus it is move uh, in a next slide we see the the structure of the ovary these are the structure of the ovary this is the vagina this is the cervix part and this you know that uh, we study earlier this is the this is a uterus part uterine cavity this is fallopian tube and ovary ovary the enlarged uh, enlarged part of this ovary is here this is the the systematic production of the ova this is this is the systematic production of the ova ova this is fimbrical the ova or ovulation is here then egg is released from here and then is captured by this fallopian tube this fallopian tube uh, from this ova this uh, this ova is travel from this fallopian tube where the fertilization occur and then the implantation of the fetus is occur here in next in next slide we study the hormonal regulation of the uh, hormonal regulation of the ovary or the female reproductive organ here we see that the two uh, uh, three uh, three hormones are responsible for for controlling the female reproductive system first is gonadotrophic hormone lh hormone and fsh hormone the detail detail structure and control of this hormone we study in the next lesson and how the female reproductive system works the female reproductive systems provide several function uh, as we know the ovary produce the egg cell the first uh, uh, function of this is to produce egg and then the fertilization of the egg egg and then the sex uh, the uh, the system produce female sex hormone to maintain the reproductive cycle and last is during the menopause the female reproductive system gradually stop making the female hormones necessary for the reproductive cycle to work at this point menstrual cycle can become irregular and stop and uh, eventually stop one year after the menstrual cycle stop the woman is considered to be a menopausal where the no hormones uh, no uh, female sex hormones are produced in this in this stage thank you